Hi everyone, welcome. Today I am sharing with you a clean with me. I am at my mom and dad's place and so I am cleaning their living room and dining room area, doing a little tidying, dusting, some vacuuming, just some things that needed done as she was done wrapping gifts because our holiday uh, get together is coming this next weekend back at her place but we were snowed in over the weekend at my mom's place so I thought why not clean and tidy for you share a little motivation with it being the new year to get you guys motivated and encouraged to clean and have a more tidy organized house and you know one hard thing about it not being my own house is you do have to ask a little bit more where things need to be put away and where you would that person would like stuff to go. So that is a little bit harder, but it still was fun to clean for my mom and tidy for her. You'll also see my daughter's head bopping around here and there a little bit as she's playing on the floor while I clean. So if you're a mom like me, find a little time throughout your day to clean and tidy and organize your house. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoy, and I am gonna get cleaning. As you can see, I have been already, so here we go. I did pick up some of my daughter's toys off the floor, but she was gonna go right back down on the floor to play anyway, so I didn't clean it all up at this point. And my parents do have a cat and they put some towels around, so it was time to refresh those towels and then vacuum off the spots where she likes to lay. She is old and not doing so well, so they wanted to protect their furniture as well from her fur and any scratch marks she may leave. Alright, this shelf that I am dusting has a lot of family pictures on it. I love looking at the pictures, however, I do have to say it's not the most enjoyable to dust because you have to clean everything. And she does still have her Christmas decorations out, snowmen and stuff all over. So you have to pick those up and move around them. So one thing for advice that I would give is don't have a lot of knickknacks and little things on your shelves unless you really love them and you're okay cleaning around them. Uh, I did find, like I said, that to be probably the most time-consuming and tedious task, but hey, I'm willing to do it for my mom, and she was happy to have me do that for her.
All right, well now it's time to move to the room next to the living room, which is the dining room. We use it more as another seating area because she has a large enough kitchen to put a table in it. So I am just gonna dust it and vacuum that chair as well and just kind of tidy up what was left on the floor and just some other areas. She has some really cool antique furniture. Oh, there's the cat. Has some really cool antique furniture. That's an old sewing machine that is there in that corner. And then she has the hutch with a lot of neat platters and crystal and silver. So it's kind of fun to clean her house because I get to see all these fun antique decor items and serving platters. And then she also has this commode, which back in the old days, if you don't know what a commode is, it is a place where they put their uh, pot for their bathroom products in that one little drawer there. So anyways, I just think it's really cool that she has all those antiques and that's something that I admire about her house.